Here is an RV newbie tip for you. Maybe something you've never really thought about if you haven't taken your RV and gone out and checked into an RV park yet. But what is the process? When you first roll up, you might think, I've never really done this before. So let's just share a couple tips on the check-in process, what the check-in times are typically, check-in time, check-out times, things that you could expect when you arrive. And then also the most important is after hours check-in process. So when you pull up to a typical, we'll just say a typical RV park, there may be big parking spots where you can pull into as you go into the office and check in. And then when you go inside, you'll typically finish paying and they'll draw out a map of where your site is and they'll typically tell you the best route to get there. Now this is important because in one of our lessons we're gonna talk about backing a trailer into an RV site and you would always try to wanna to get a non-blind side back in. A driver's side back in is much easier to do and the RV park host will tell you exactly how to get there to make it easy as possible for you to get into that site. Now some RV parks will escort you directly to the site in a golf cart and in some cases they'll even help you back in. I have mixed feelings on this because when you have someone you don't know trying to help you back in it can create unnecessary pressure or there's a just difference in communication styles. So that's something that you can handle when you're in that situation. Now let's talk about check-in and check-out times. It's very typical that the check-in time would be after 1 p.m and the checkout time would be the following day at 11 p.m. Some parks are noon, some state parks are one. On the small exception, you'll, sign, you'll find a park two or three in the afternoon. But generally speaking, it's a after 1 p.m. check-in, after 11 a.m. check-out. Now, what happens if you're running late? Because that's bound to happen if you have an issue. I suggest calling the park host and saying, hey, I know checkout is 11 o'clock, can I extend it to an hour? Don't just try to stay there anyway because it can cause some issue. Every park has their own culture and things that they might be more concerned about than others. All right, what do you do if you arrive at an RV park late after hours? First of all, let them know, hey, I'm coming in, I have reservations there tonight, I'm not gonna be coming in until eight o'clock. Let's say the office closed at five or six. They'll say, no problem, park in the front, walk up to the front door, there'll be an envelope with your name on it, pull that out and There'll be a map of exactly how to get to your site and then come see us in the morning and you can pay. That's a pretty standard procedure. But now with things going on with COVID, this is often the process with a lot of RV parks because it's a contactless check-in. So I think this is something we might be seeing more and more as we go forward. If you forget something at your house, there's a slight chance that the RV park will have a little gift shop where you can pick up maybe a extension cord or a 50 amp dog bone or a leveling block or uh, something for your black tanks on occasion. And if not, you could always go to a nearby RV store. Don't feel the pressure that you have to have absolutely everything. If you forget something, you'll definitely find a way to get it. So there's just a few tips on the check-in, check-out process for the RV newbie. And we'll catch you at the next Topic Talk.